Okay, folks, this is Bob from Bob's Classic Cars and Parts, and look what I have found for you today. I got a beautiful car today. This is a special car. This, it, it looks like it's just another Charger, but it's not. This is not just another Charger. This is a 1972 Dodge Charger Topper X, and I'll link a advertisement for the Topper X package in, in this video. You'll see the advertisement and explain what the Topper X package is. But this is my buddy Eldon. He's going to explain uh, what all this car is about. He's going to show us about this car. Go ahead, buddy. Well, in 72, they uh, offered what they called the Topper Edition, which got you uh, certain features like the uh, bumper guards, the hideaway headlights. It also got you a rally dash and an inside hood release. Uh, it gave you these painted uh, stripes and uh, got you a free vinyl top. So these are painted on, not, not this and this, just a decal. It's right. painted on. Got, got you the painted on stripes. Okay. Uh, the... Uh, like I said, it also got you a free vinyl top. The uh, car also, if it was an X edition, it also got you power steering and power brakes. And this is the X and edition. This is an X. This right. car has 40 some thousand actual miles. Okay, you hear that folks? This car's got 46,000 actual miles on it. And it, um, look how nice this car is. Paint. And it's also an air conditioned car. It's an air conditioned car. This is an original car now. Yep. Okay, he's telling me the front seat has been recovered. But the rest of the upholstery is original, and he said the wheels obviously been changed. It's got these beautiful keystones on it, and you said dual exhaust was put on it, and dual exhaust. Dual exhaust has been added. Okay, so other than that, it's all original. Now this top Rex package also came with the inside hood release. Came, came with the inside hood release and the rally dash. And the rally dash. Okay, you guys saw the rally dash, I believe. This car is uh, equipped with air conditioning as well. Go ahead and, if you would, Eldon, go ahead and pop the hood, buddy. Okay. I actually found this car in South Carolina at uh, Hodges Restoration down there. This car came from Hodges Restoration. Now, you guys seen him on Facebook. Yep. He does some beautiful work. Hodges Restoration is down in South Carolina. He went down there. All right, let's take a look at this. It's a 318, is that right? It's a 318 car, two barrel, all of that's still there. Uh, it's air conditioned. Like I said, it, got, it has the power steering and the power brakes, making it the X edition. Okay. And that's about as honest of an uh, engine bay as you're going to find. Yep, that is a time the castle. Original car. That's true. It's got a 150 mile an hour speedometer, you say. It huh? does have the rally dash with the 150 mile an hour speedometer. Let's take another look on the inside. The door buzzer still. Oh, works. the door and buzzer. The and that's, uh, let's see. I'm to confirm the miles on there. It's a little dark here. We got a dome light. Oh, there we go. 43,000. 43,000 miles, folks. 141. See how clear all the gauges and the lenses and stuff right. still are on this car? Still that's, a that's, a, that's a throwback right there, too. The yeah. FM converter. Well, that really was a beautiful dash layout. Oh, oh it was. The steering wheel, the way they made the steering wheel, the, the, yep. the gauges were easy to see. Yep, that three bar. Put your light up on this side. Uh, there you go. Look at that. Look at how nice this car is, folks. It's got chrome mirrors. Are the chrome mirrors? Yep. Is that part of the topper package? I'm not sure if that was part of the topper package because it wasn't listed in the parts list, but uh, it's definitely a, a nice feature on oh, a car man. like this yeah. with all the chrome and trim. Oh, mm -hmm. look at all the wood grain and the dash, and this thing's still beautiful. Yeah. The dash that, is uh, really nice. Holy that cow. throwback right there, the. Uh, FM converter hanging under the dash. It kind of gives you an idea. It'd be yeah. in a time capsule for sure. Nice automobile. Huh? 318, so it ain't a muscle car, but it still would be cool cruiser. This would, this would definitely be the uh, gentleman. Man, these seats feel nice. Oh. Yep. They don't make seats like this anymore. Uh, my opinion, anyway. Ooh, gracious. Hey, one beautiful car. Okay, Elton, so what kind of rear end would this come with? Is it eight and three quarter? I believe this would be a... Uh, Let's see 
see if we can find out. Oh, let me get down here, folks. Yeah, that's an eight and a quarter. Uh, you, you folks probably couldn't see it. It's dark, but I saw the bolts on the back cover. Being, being a 318 two barrel automatic, I don't think the eight and three quarter would have been in that. Right, right. Well, I, I agree, but I was just wondering if yeah. the topper package, maybe that was some of the upgrades or something. Right. So, okay, folks, she's got that beautiful coat body styling. And it's the original paint on this car, correct? Yep, original paint, original top. Okay, let's get you a better look down this side. And Keystone wheels really look good on this they, car. They really look good on that car. Those black inlays with that black coffin stripes. Yep. And all the chrome. This is a beautiful car. It really is. Now, what's going on with the hood right here? The hood didn't close. Uh, is that just the hinges got need to be lubed up or something? I'm sure. Of course, these cars back in the day, uh, as long as that heavy as that hood is, I don't think they closed real good back when they were new. The one I had, the hood didn't close that good on it. You had to kind of help it a little bit. My Cornette's the same way. Okay, folks, I want to thank Eldon for showing me this car. The car actually belongs to another buddy of mine named Jimmy. He's standing back here behind me. He gave me permission to video this car. Eldon's a good buddy of both of ours, and he's a, he's a car guy, loves cars, and he helps me out a lot with different things, so he was nice enough to kind of walk us around this car to make sure we got the details as correct as possible so uh thank you for that thank jimmy for allowing us to video this car and please folks subscribe to my channel hit that like button please hit the like button and comment let us know what you think and comment thank thank jimmy and eldon for showing us this car okay we're gonna move on we got a couple more here we're gonna do we're gonna move on and do some more videos so thank you folks